So, Jean, how do you like cheating on me with uh, Tharys? Do you enjoy it? Um, I wouldn't say enjoy. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be the wording I'd use. But, yeah, it's it's been alright. He won't listen to this as well. <laughs> so I can say whatever I yeah, want. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Tharys. But then if he does listen to it, it's going to be a bit awkward. Well, he, here's something, Tharys. Back off. He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here to talk about the second special. I feel like one of those really like boring <laughs> review, Doctor Who reviewers now. It's like, Legend of the Sea Devils was the second 2022 special and the penultimate story for Jodie Whittaker as the 13th Doctor. Like I nearly did start the episode like that, and I was like, "No, I can't do it." Yeah, I can't. Oh, the amount of time it's taken us to do this intro is pretty indicative of how much we've got to actually talk about the ep- how much we've got to say about the episode. Yeah, because I didn't watch it on the night. I've only just watched it, and it's the day after for those listening. Yeah, I didn't watch it when it went out last night on Easter. Yeah, uh, I watched it a few hours later. And okay. well, actually, no. Tell a lie. I watched like the first ten minutes of it um, on my own, and then uh, as it was going out, and then I just went. I oh, I I, I, you. I was sat in a room by myself, and I usually I usually watch Doctor Who with my family. It's because it's oh. usually so I can get to talk with people after it and get to gauge what the general mm. public think of this show. <laughs> um, but I was sat there for about 10 minutes and even then I could tell that maybe this wasn't going to be the greatest episode and I was just like, something's wrong here I, I'm not comfortable just sitting here on my own watching this so I watched it again with my family a few hours later and um yeah <laughs> it's certainly a story it is a story, I'm quite annoyed because out of all the stories this seemed like the most promising of premises yeah, the Sea Devils like, uh, yeah, were back. It's a Sea Devil pirate story. That should be great. Oh yeah, but we didn't do an Eve of the Daleks review because we we didn't. Um, so here's our review. We both thought it was quite good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's shock. It was shocking that this what uh, the 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 Eve of the Daleks was better than this. Is yeah, because baffling. because I don't think I yeah I don't think Eve of the Daleks is like great by any means. Like it is. It, I, it's just fun. I'm like I was expect I was expecting this to be fun. Yeah. I thought even if this episode isn't going to be the best, like at least it's going to be like, campy, just enjoyable fluff. Just just a bit of a pirate romp. Yeah, and it didn't even really have that for me. No. It's hard to talk about this one because it's like I don't think it was like the worst story in the world. But it weren't. No, it, I think it was like it wasn't. It wasn't that good, but it weren't that bad either. And I, I, I really have no <laughs> strong opinion on it. I think the editing had a really big play in all that because there are just large chunks of the story that have just been cut out for whatever you can, reason. You, this is the most egregiously <laughs> felt like. Oh, there is stuff missing from this yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Like I'm pretty sure it has been confirmed. They have just cut out like massive scenes. And you can tell. It just didn't flow. Like, even from the beginning, like, that yeah. pre-titles, like, it has a really nice build-up of, like, oh, Madam Ching turns up, everyone's scared of her, oh, she's coming for this statue, what's this statue? Yeah. I feel like as soon as the Doctor, like, sees that sea devil within, like, the first five minutes, that feels like we're already into, like, the middle of the story. Yeah, she just ru- they just run in. They just run into that yeah. village and just, oh... We're there. And there's a sea devil, and I'm the doctor, and da da da. And then the the, the sea devil Mario jumps away. <laughs> what was that? Was that meant? Because he says some line, and I thought, oh, is that the explanation of why he just suddenly did a big old jump? I think <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I think that was the like. Do you know when they were skipping stones at the start, or like throwing stones? Yeah. The sucky thing. The gravity, because. Gravity yeah. came up quite a bit this episode, and I'm not sure the show understood how gravity worked, but hey ho. <laughs> um, hmm. I I found it odd that usually when it's a Chris Chibnall co-writer credit, 
he usually puts his name first, and this one yeah. had Ella Rhodes' name first. So I feel like Chris was sort of just like, I didn't really have a hand in this as much as ever- I want everyone to think I did, but I'm probably just talking to my ass there. I didn't actually pick up on that. It, it, it was just that uh, it was a something that only I would notice because I'm mm. pedantic. Um, but I am really not disappointed. I don't know if I think this episode was definitely overhyped. But yeah, oh yeah. I don't think you can blame people when it's the Sea Devils returning yeah. that, who are a fan mm-hmm. favorite. Yeah, that's true. What was the plot? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know what happened. Right. So there was a statue. <laughs> right. There was a statue. The sea devils like had this stone thing. The stone could turn you into a statue and also make the sea levels rise and it it no, I don't. I go. I genuinely don't know. I can't. I feel like we'll tell, get, feel like we'll get comments saying, like, "Well, you clearly weren't paying attention. It's obviously this." I know. Well, let's talk about the main thing of this episode, which is the Sea Devils came back. You know, since like what, we haven't seen them in the new series, they've been we've been campaigning for them to come back for since the show began, like in two thousand and five. So, like, yeah. And they're just sort of there with no real yeah. reason. Like they didn't have to be the sea devils at all. Exactly. Nothing about them being there. Like really there was, like they like they could have just been some other pirates or something. They could have just been any sea monster yeah. new sea monster or something. It was just bonkers because it was they turn up and they're and but yeah. it's the th- it, it was just the thing where it's like suddenly the ship with all the sea devils on it just turned up. There was no like build up to it. It was the same with like the Doctor meeting the sea devil for the first time in like the fu- in like the second <laughs> yeah. scene of the episode, and it was just like oh, so we're not we're just not going to build up to this big monster coming back. Yeah. It's weird. The pacing of this episode felt really quick and really slow at the same time. Like, everything was happening really quickly, but it all felt extremely dragged out. Yes. The only time I felt like the pacing suddenly, like, ground to a halt was the last <laughs> scene of the episode. Yeah. Which... And I would say that that was probably, like, the best part of the episode. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I I don't really know what else they did with Thasmin in this story, because I can't remember what they talked about. I know they talked to each other, but I don't remember. The director or something did come out and say that, yeah, this episode does not have a big, like... Like, that it's not... It won't have a big focus on Thasmin going in. I feel like that was mostly Twitter that sort of... Yeah. You know, we're running with that. And I thought they would... I thought it would have been addressed more. Like, they did make quite a... Uh, like, they set it up quite nicely in Eve of the Daleks. Mm. Um... I've seen a few people talking about that maybe Thasman has been bait because they ca- they did sort of resolve it here. Yeah. Like, without really doing anything with the relationship at all. If this is all they're going to do with it, I'll be really unhappy with yeah. how it's played out. I'm going to yeah. hold back judgment just because we've got one story left. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we'll see how it happens. But if... If this is all they're gonna do with Phasmin, yeah, that's they've killing Eve season four. It a show I've not watched, but I know, <laughs> yeah. but I know from the reception that they really botched the uh, mm-hmm. the romantic, like the plot, the plot of Killing Eve. All I see about it is that it's about two lesbians yeah. who mm-hmm. like hate, hit, love, hate each other, and then like they finally got together in the last season, and then they both then or they one kill. of them died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not... Th- this is just not it, because... I mean, I sort of thought they were going to do something similar with that, but it would have been more like... Almost as if, like, it was too late, and then, like, the Doctor maybe would confess, but it would be too late, and, like, she'd go off and die or leave Yaz or whatever. Yeah. And it would sort of be that thing of, like... um, 
yeah, she held it in like just too long. And I, I, I feel like Chris Chibnall would pull on like, he would pull on like the tragedy, like route. Yeah. He would take that route. With oh, him. I don't, I don't intend for them. And like, if they do do more Thasmin, I don't expect them to get together because she's gonna regenerate. Oh, it's yeah, gonna be yeah, some like, yeah. right. All I'm hoping for is that they kiss and then she regenerates, mm. and, like, because that's all I think you can do now with. Thasmin, because you can't have them get into a relationship now. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah, what I, I never, was. I never saw that. I never saw that like being a possibility. I thought maybe the Doctor will reciprocate the feelings. Maybe not. I was like, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. I thought that maybe this episode would be more of them just sort of opening up to each other, which it kind of is. But then the Doctor does sort of just say to Yaz like, "Yeah, no." It would be too complicated or whatever. I don't think the Doctor's, like, reasoning for it made enough sense. Like, she didn't make it clear enough, because... I she get it, it's it like the same thing... Yaz. Obviously, we yeah. understand it as fans. Like, we know... Like, we followed the character of the Doctor. We've seen how relationships and stuff work. It's, it's the like, same thing the with, like, Rose, isn't it? It's like, I'm, yeah. I'm immortal, you're not. One day you're gonna not be here and I will just keep on going. And also she's got the thing of she knows the, she's gonna die soon. Yeah. Or so, at some point. She knows that, okay. like, because of time told her or whatever. <laughs> so it's like, she also knows it's like she can't even if she wanted to, can't even get in a relationship with Yaz because she knows it's just going to be short-lived anyway. Yeah. Either way, like, it's a lose-lose scenario. But, I, yeah, I this is, again, I don't really remember it, but from the vibe I got, it seemed like the Doctor didn't make it clear enough to Yaz why she couldn't be with her. And Yeah. It just sort of ra- ran true of just like, oh, maybe we'll do this, maybe we won't. I don't know. Like it felt like very wishy washy. Like maybe we'll come back to this, and then there's also the possibility that, that this is just the end of Thasmin. Uh. Yeah. I mean, if they do end it here, then you know I won't be disappointed. Uh, it will be a really fucking shame, and it will leave a bad taste in the mouth for this era. Yeah. What else is there to talk about with this story? Oh, um, Madam Ching does nothing. Yeah. Which is... Awful? Yeah, let's go with awful, because they've talked so much, and this era has like made a big point of trying to do... Di- showing the diversity of history, and show more underrepresented, mainly female... Um, yeah, historical that's one thing figures. I've liked about this era. And it is something that's been good at points and, ve- and like yeah. very interesting. Like Demons of the Punjab was a fantastic period of exploration. I haven't watched mm-hmm. it in forever, but I, re- I I think I need to reevaluate that one because from what I see, it's probably my yeah. favorite of this era. Yeah. And with like Mary Seacole in the last uh series, she sure she wasn't the main focus of the episode, but you got enough about her, I felt, mm-hmm. personally. Yeah. And I feel she had enough relevance to the plot that it it wasn't like she was just left by the wayside. And it wasn't just like, oh, look, it's this person. Moving on. And it was like she, mm-hmm. she, she played... She was basically the Doctor's companion for a lot of War of the Santarans. Yeah. And that was great. That was a lot of fun. I feel Madame Ching maybe falls into the same category as like Norin Yat Khan and Ada Lovelace in where it's like What 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 did you do? Why why are you here? Because if yeah, you're going to introduce sort of a background like, character. Yeah, if you're going to character. introduce these big historical <clears throat> women why aren't you doing anything with them? Why are, why could it why are they just like could be anyone? Yeah, it's weird telling that story then. Yeah, she could have just been a pirate. Should have been a pirate mm-hmm. captain lady. Um, yeah, really disappointing. Yeah, but, especially because it's a character I'm just not familiar with. So to yeah. like set it there and then do nothing with it. Yeah, big wasted opportunity. And I was I was defending like in the trailer, um, 
you know, 13 does the Madam Ching, Pirate Queen. And it's like, <laughs> people were going, oh, why does she just announce who they are every time? It's like, no, she, the Doctor has done that in all of the new series. Yeah. It's not a new thing. But with this, <laughs> but in the context of the episode, it felt very odd because that was just like the only real acknowledgement of who she was. It was just like, Madam Ching, Pirate Queen. Anyway, and it's just like, yeah. oh, okay, we're not gonna be like oh wow it's you oh you're interesting let's learn more about you and it was it was just like oh, i want treasure for my family or my crew <laughs> yeah it's disappointing very disappointing i mean that's the one thing i would just say it's about all this episode very interesting premise just disappointing Oh yeah, the entire thing sounded great. The sea devils looked great. Even just like the flying pirate ship and stuff, it's like, even if it was dumb, like I was like, that's still some cool imagery. Oh yeah. It's just, in the context of the episode, it's just kind of nothing. It, it felt like it didn't want to explore its concept more than like, oh, it's, yeah. some, it's some pirates and some sea devils. Okay. There are two main archetypes for a Chris Chibnall story. They're either like, really basic and boring or they're the polar opposite and they're overstuffed and like just every single thing is going on every exactly. character is coming back it's like i thought this would be like a good middle ground i thought like there was enough substance there yeah it's just fallen into like the dull kind of i'm probably not gonna watch this again for like a good few years i'm not gonna watch this again until we do like a, a jody whittaker like yeah. Or a wrap up video or something because like mm. yeah I have no like there's nothing to... making me want to go back to yeah. this not even like it's not even like oh I want to see the sea devils because like the costumes look great but I weren't a big fan of the CGI to make them look like they were talking where it was just like they'd use the liquify tool on them <laughs> yeah. it, was, it, it almost felt like a thing where it's like you couldn't even like attach a, like a, a strap to the actor's jaw so even if it's just like the mouth is opening and closing at least there's something there that's like physical something is physically moving like because that's yeah. how they talked in like the original like um story there's the mouth flapped open but even then it gave a lot to that like big mask that they're wearing to make it look like oh it's not just a big mask <laughs> It's like you could have done something with the eyes, maybe have the eyes move, like um, physically move or something. Yeah. I, I feel like they should have went more the animatronic route, like what they did with the Jadun. And it's like, I, think. I know it was like probably cost save. It was like, you should, yeah, yeah it's like, but the, I know the Jadun's was like a very animatronic, like heavy, like faces. You don't have to do that for everyone. Just, but like just the eyes moving would be fine, you know, or the mouth opening would be fine. Yeah, but it just, it just really stank of like, oh, we'll s fix this in post. We'll fix this in post. It'll yeah. all be fine in it post. Didn't, it didn't bug me as much, but I do see like where you're coming from. The CGI in this episode felt a bit of a downgrade. If I'm being honest, yeah, it it, 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 was it was distracting. Bag. Like, um. Yeah, actually, yeah. I thought this episode looked quite cheap on the yeah. whole. I feel like even the sets and stuff. Like, when they're on the pirate ship, it, fe it felt very set-like. Yeah. Like, it felt like they were in a studio, like, mm. all the surroundings. Which was really disappointing, because I, I can't pronounce her name, but the director was... It, it, she's got a lot of credits behind her, yeah. she's been tutored no, under... It's weird, because like, the, yeah. the episodes both looked great and shit at the same time. Exactly. I think the editing really hurt this one as well, because it was, like, mm -hmm. shots just didn't line up it was just <laughs> it was all over the place our friend jacob c rose um described it it was like every scene in this was like beginning in media res it almost felt like every scene is like oh we've already stuck like started as if like the episode had already started if you know what i mean yes it mm -hmm. kept like every time we cut to something it'd be like we've missed something like we we're jumping yeah. like into this like halfway through Oh yeah, it, I felt that. Yeah, one hundred percent. And it re and it really didn't feel like until like the final fucking shot of the episode where it's like, Oh, 
we're slowed down now. We're watching a scene play out in its entirety. And it's just like, Christ. Not great. I don't understand why so much was cut out of it. Because this is a special. Even though it was just the no- length of a normal episode. It yeah. was like... Revolution of the Daleks is like 75 minutes. And this isn't. Yeah, and I don't think like that extra... Like, this needed at least like an hour or half an hour. I, it, I feel. It's it's really strange because it's like if this feels like it should be so much bigger than it actually is, and it feels like it wanted to be a lot bigger than it actually yeah. is. But editing and like even then is like the writing like didn't feel like it fully explored the concept of how impressive this special and like this story could yeah. be. Mm-hmm. It, it it's just a bit baffling really that this this is what came out of. The, you know, getting an extra story for Jodie. Yeah, I should be grateful because it's another story with Jodie. It's like we could just not. She have was this. good in it. She like, was. She yeah. still. She still like hit hit her stride. I like, think the main Tardis team were the best thing about this. She's it's making me really sad that she's going. I don't want to see her go because it's upon. It's nearly upon us now, and it's like it's yeah. only beginning to set. And it's like, oh fuck, she won't be the Doctor in like a few months. Yeah, it hasn't hit me yet. Yeah. It, like, it doesn't feel like the next episode is her last episode. <laughs> Can't wait to learn all about that a week before it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we say that, but I feel like we already know too much. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get into that coming soon then, Villa? We probably have more to say about that trailer than we do on this episode. 